We want to give a special thanks to Briar for partnering with us to make this video. What's up, y'all? I'm Toya from My Froggy Stuff and a longtime Briar fan. Today, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Briar Craft products. There's a variety of Briar Craft and activity kits. Look, I'm even on the packaging. On the back of each one, we can scan the QR code and get crafty. The Unicorn Surprise Paint and Play. I like these a lot because they are portable and they make great party favors. Where we can paint our very own unicorn. On the back, we can see the other figures in this collection so we can have fun collecting and painting them all. At the bottom, there's a little tiny notch so that we can open it, take out what's inside. We have one Stable Mate Unicorn. I absolutely love this pose. Three paint pots. Mine are silver, pink, and purple. A paintbrush. We will also need water to clean our brush. A paint palette or double stack paper plates in case you want to mix paints. Paper towels. Clear nail polish if you want to add a little shine to the eyes. And you can use a sealant spray to protect it when you're finished. Now let's get started. I'm going to make my unicorn pink. Ooh, it's a pretty pearly color. I'm starting with a very thin coat and I'm just going to paint the body pink. I am just taking my time and doing my best to keep those strokes nice and even. And since I don't plan on painting the tail pink, that's a good place to hold it so I can turn it around and make sure everything is painted. Now I want a more vibrant pink, so I'm doing a second layer. I'm trying to be very careful and go around the mane. I think I might want to keep it white. I left a white stripe going down the center of its face for a blaze, and I kept it white on the bottom of the legs for stockings. Now let's open the lavender paint, get a little bit of paint on the brush, then swirl off the excess, and lightly brush in the little dips of the horse to bring out those shadows. I really just want to fade those colors to help bring out some of the detail in the unicorn. So now I have a pink and purple unicorn. I'm going to take a little silver paint and lightly brush the hooves just so we have a little glimmer of silver. I can use a drop of silver for the eyes for a one of a kind custom unicorn. Take it a step further by taking a recycled cereal box, cut it into three and a half inch squares, stack and glue six together to make a board. Take three squares, cut them in half, then stack and glue them together to make a smaller board. Then I take a few more squares, cut them into one inch strips, stack and glue them together, repeat to make three. Take two, trim off one corner, glue them onto the large square, trim the last one to fit in the back, then glue it in place, paint it, I'm using an acrylic paint that looks very similar to my unicorn. I use some of my leftover paint to make it pearly. Glue the last piece on top. Glue the unicorn on top to make a unicorn sticky note holder. This is so cute. I am totally going to use this. However you choose to decorate your unicorn, be sure to have fun and get creative. To learn more about Briar and the real horses who inspire us, visit the Briar website at www.briarhorses.com. And we will see you next time. 